Hey Chevy fans, today we're going to be painting the grill on the 1994 Cheyenne 1500. It was originally a dark gray, but as you can see over the years it's faded to a lighter gray. We're going to be painting it with some Rust-Oleum flat black. So there you go. That's how it looks before. We'll be back in a few. Alright, we're going to start up top. Bolt on the driver's side. Bolt down here in the center. And another bolt over here on the passenger side. We're going to go ahead and take those off. On each of the turning signals, there are two screws. Unscrew those and the turning signal will come right out. And behind that is a bolt back in there, as you can see. On both sides, it's like that. And once you unscrew that bolt there, that'll come free. The last step to taking it off in here is a release. Pull that up. And that'll release the grill, as you can see. And again, that's the same way on this side and that side. Both sides are the same process to taking it off. Now we're on the passenger side. And there's also two right up front here, one there, and one there. Also down at the bottom in the front center, you'll see that there's a release to take the grill off. As you take the grill off, you'll have to move the turn signals through the grill. And there you go. Grill's off. Now we're going to go ahead and get started and paint it. Also, there's a separate piece underneath the grill. We're going to go ahead and take that off and paint that also. Five screws total. One on the far end. One right there. One in the center. And two over here. So we're going to go ahead and take those off so we can paint both the grill and that. Alright, we got the five bolts off. Now we'll go ahead and pull that bottom piece off. It has a little lip, you have to lift it up and slide it out. There you go, that's off. Now 
Now here are both of the pieces off the truck, ready to be spray painted. But there you go, we're going to go ahead and get started painting. Alright, we washed it and sanded it. And we mashed off the emblem and the side reflectors with painter's tape. So now that all the prep work is done, it's ready to be painted. As you can see, it doesn't have that high gloss. It was mostly dull in a lot of places, but you can see that uh, it's completely dull now and ready to be painted. So we're going to go ahead and paint it. And we'll be back to show you how it looks after. Alright, we're back after painting it. And this is what it looks like after three coats. We're going to go ahead and install it. And after we install it, we'll remove the painter's tape. We'll be back to show you how it looks on the truck. Here's the bottom piece that we're getting ready to put in. It actually looks like it's almost from the factory. It turned out pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and screw that in. Then we'll get started on the grill. Alright, we're getting ready to take the painter's tape off of the side reflectors and the Chevrolet emblem. So there's the driver's side reflector. Go ahead and do the passenger side. And there's the passenger side. Now we'll go ahead and take the Chevrolet, uh, the paint tape off the Chevrolet emblem. So there you go. Definitely looks a lot nicer. Changes the whole look of the truck. Much neater. Cleaner looking. Turned out really good. But there you go. That's the before and after process of painting the grill on the 1994 Chevy Cheyenne. 1500. I'll be posting a video of this truck, a full tour, start up, and review of it tomorrow, so make sure you stop by and check that out. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos.